Hi, my name is Phil, and I'm here today to talk to you about CISPR 7, which is the new version coming out in 2013. Now, these sneak previews we've got here are all about, well, we call it power tailoring. You might call it customization, but we like to believe that users can change the product the way they want it to make it look like. So, have a look at these. Dynamic menu navigation in CISPR 7. Users can customize their own menus and create a task panel which allows you to launch an application, navigate to a group of menu items, and open a named flow graph. In this demonstration we will show you how to add applications to the navigation pane and how to link menus and flow graphs. To start with I'm going to minimize my favorites pane and to create my own personal menu in my navigation pane I select the icon to create a new personal menu and enter a caption in the caption field. You can select whether you want your menu style to be task panel which is where you can add tiles or a list view. Select an icon for your menu and continue to add the programs and tiles that you require. To add a program you can right click and follow the shortcut wizard. You can select to add other applications other than programs so I'm going to select to launch my Outlook. I'm going to create a second menu and then show you how you can link from one menu to another menu creating dynamic navigation. So to add a new menu, again I select my icon, I'm going to call it Sales, and I'm going to continue adding my required programs. I've added a Sales menu, and now I want to be able to navigate from my contacts to my Sales menu. To do this, I'm going to create a new menu item called Sales, and this will automatically launch my Action Settings. To link the two menus, select Navigate to Menu, and the sales menu, there's only one category sales, so I'm going to select OK. If I select that tile, it takes me directly to my sales menu. To return to the menu from which you navigated, you can select the icon, go back to the previous menu, and it will return you to that menu. You can also select to open flow graph navigation menus. To demonstrate, I'm going to select flow graph. I'm going to create a new tile called returns flow and I'm going to create an action to open a flow graph I've created. To do this, right click, select properties and action, open flow graph file, and select the flow graph file that you want to open. If I select that, it opens my returns flow. And that completes this demonstration on dynamic navigation.